Hi guys, today I want to show you um, the latest thing I've got under construction. Now a lot of people are always asking me, how do you fit the neck with a, something like a dog bowl resonator where it's not a through neck, what do I do? So I want to show you this one now under construction. Two reasons, one is to show you how it goes together, but two, because I'm so pleased with how this one's gone. Now what I'll do before I start showing you anything, I've tried something else as well. I'm actually making this one out of the base because it's got a good solid base. And then I'm using the lid so that you can open and see what's inside when it's finished. Now what I will show you what's inside now, you may be able to see that here, there are two pieces of wood. And what that is, one is for the strap button and one is for the tail piece. And those are two pieces of hardwood fixed in there. The point of that being that um, I don't want the the pressure of the strings pulling on the thin box. Same with the strap, I don't want the strap pulling on the on the thin box. So, how do we fit the, uh, the neck? Well, what I create is something like this. Now, you may think that's a bit of a weird shape. It's slightly curved this end just to help shut the box. Now, this is where the neck will go, and these two just give a little space for the sound holes, for the, where the grommets will go. So first of all, first thing I'm going to do is put this in. Now you see the curved end goes that end and that just helps the box shut properly. That goes in there like that. Now the neck, you may be able to see, I'll <clears throat> put it a bit closer. I slot the neck, that's slotted and that way that slots into there and hides the joint. And that just slots in there Perfect, look at that, there's, I mean there's a tiny bit of movement because it's not screwed in yet, but basically that fits perfectly, it's all in alignment, very pleased with that bit. Here's the dog bowl, now I've got to be a bit careful with all the tail piece bits that I don't interfere with the dog bowl, we don't want to affect any of the resonance. And here's the tail piece, which I hope you can see. It's two pieces of aluminium riveted together and hand cut and filed and then polished. There we go, that's the tail piece. There will be five screws holding this tail piece in that piece of hardwood, but just for now, I'm just gonna whack in one so you can see what it looks like. So there we go. This one now, what will happen next with this guitar is the box will go off to be painted and varnished. And in that time while that's happening, oh, that will give me time while I'm waiting for the varnish and stuff to dry, to fret the neck and do the holes with the tuners and stuff like that. So, there you go, that's how that goes together. There we go, dog bowl resonator.